All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well. Welcome back to Football Therapy. <laughs> Welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea transfer news video. I had one of those moments there when I didn't know what I was going to say. I was just saying it, and I had to sort of catch up with myself. Anyway, welcome to this news video. I'm going to be talking about a few things today. To be honest, it's not really too much transfer news. It's outgoings, uh, new loan laws that affect Chelsea, which is interesting. And, uh, oh yeah, I want to talk about Tammy Abraham and his potentially losing his first team striker spot next season, depending on what happens this season. Loads of interesting stuff to talk about, but before we do get into the good gear today, a quick word from our sponsors. You like football statistics? You like fixtures? Well, we all like fixtures as football, but you want to know the fixtures, you want to know the results, you want to know the stats. Like I said, football media news, all that good gear. You must go check out One Football. Yes, sir. One Football has consolidated everything you'd want and need from football onto one platform slash app. It's superb if you just want to catch up with everything Chelsea or indeed Premier League, just football generally. So make sure you go and check out One Football. I've plunked a link in the top of the description so you can go and have a little nose. Do go check it out. All right, let's get into it. All right, so in terms of outgoings or potential outgoings in this video, I'm going to be talking about Kepa and Willian. But let's talk about Tammy Abraham first because he's been suffering with an injury. Frank Lampard has ruled him out for this weekend game and although he's done generally very good this season I mean people are frustrated with him in terms of missing chances obviously against Bayern Munich he should be on the end of a lot of those crosses and if you look on the other side of the pitch Robert Lewandowski is just always present to score the goals or get on the end of chances but you know it shows two strikers at different ends of their careers and one's got loads of experience and one hasn't now most people maintain Abraham's got what it takes there was that awesome section of match of the day where Gary Lineker, Ian Wright and Alan Shearer, those three know a thing or two about scoring goals. They all sat down and analysed Tammy Abraham's game and said, look, he's not doing this, but we all believe in him. We all believe this guy can get 25 Premier League goals a season. So that's nice. And it's nice to hear it from those elite Premier League strikers. But he's been suffering injury. And although he's still got a goal contribution over every two games, which is a good return. They've just come in sort of chunks. Um, suffering this injury, if he doesn't pick up form towards the end of the season, are Chelsea going to trust him to start the next season being the number nine, or are they going to spend a little bit more money on this striker target to come in that's not necessarily going to take the number nine shirt off him, but start over him in Frank Lampard's meritocracy? I mean, I'm not sure, but a few articles are starting to speculate that he really does need to pick up, get a few goals, start getting on the end of some of these chances. Everyone's praised him rightly, so is Frank Lampard, but he's very aware that he's not putting the ball away now and he just needs to, especially in this huge time of need for Chelsea. Right, before we talk about this loan situation, how the loan rules are changing, and obviously Chelsea are loan FC, which is, so it's relevant. Let's talk about potential outgoings. So you might have seen all the headlines over the last sort of 24, 48 hours regarding Kepa Ruth Balaga. He says, apparently, I don't know where this quote is coming from, so I'm citing the headlines just like you've seen, ladies and gentlemen. He's apparently ready to quit Chelsea due to what he feels like is a broken promise from Chelsea coach Frank Lampard in not keeping him as the number one. Now, obviously, Lampard's been questioned about this a couple of times now in press conferences, and he's maintained, no, it's not an easy decision. Um, it's not something that's taken lightly, but the board are backing me because they pay me to make these decisions. He's, he also maintains that Kep has been professional in training and he's training hard, but at the moment, so is Willy Caballero. He's making good saves. And to be fair, he is. He made a few good saves against Bayern Munich. And there's just no reason to trust Kepper because obviously he's, take, he's dropped him now. Caballero's come in and he's been okay. But Kepper was dismal this season. I maintain as well, like loads of you guys, a bad defence in front of you, an unsettled defence can unsettle the goalkeeper. But in the same sort of sentence, a goalkeeper's responsibility is to settle the defence on front of you. He was getting his hand to shots he should save. Balls were going in. He was like what bottom three goalkeepers in Europe, and he's the world record goalkeeper. So I get it. We all understand why he was dropped. Maybe we would have expected to see him come in after a disciplinary couple of games dropped, but 
Dude is out. So understandably, Kepa is upset. He was Spain's number one. I seriously doubt he's Spain's number one now because he needs to be playing football. So already, I hadn't really thought about this, but this whole situation has probably lost him his Euros place, um, which is huge, obviously, for a young goalkeeper or, you know, mid-20s because he was going to play in the Euros as the number one. So thinking of it that way, with a bit of compassion, you think, damn, that's pretty heavy. It's like the Olivier Giroud situation, although Giroud was out the door. Now it looks like he's coming back in and things should work out with Giroud. But with Kepa, would I bring him back in? Probably not. Like, I dig it. I get it, man. Um, what are we going to do with him? I don't know. I I've said it before in videos before. I think perhaps, which actually goes on to this story, goes on to the latter story of the video about loaning. I think Chelsea should loan him to a Spanish club, uh, get fully absolved of his wages, um, maybe like one or two year loan with an obligation to buy for £40 million pounds or something like that. You know, they'll make a huge loss on him, uh, or perhaps a loan with option to buy but if he does really good in between they can recall him and use him i don't know but i feel like chelsea would really struggle to just sell him immediately and make any value back on him so from a spaniard to a brazilian let's talk about william oh my god it rhymed william obviously came out and did an interview i think it was after the Bayern munich game yeah it must have been where he pretty much came out and voiced what's going on with his contract saying look i want to stay in london i want three years on the contract yeah you're 31 going on 32 mate you know the deal at chelsea i bet you ruddy do chelsea are only offering me two to be honest i think he's lucky to be being offered two i want three they'll only give me two but i want three but there's two i'm not sure it's gonna work i have a suspicion that william might just sign frank lampard was questioned about this from goal.com and he pretty much said look it was pretty poor timing william coming out and saying that i think he was actually frustrated from his comments but he maintains it's not over yet frank lampard really does want william to re-sign and wants him to stay in the squad I get it, he's got good work ethic, but a lot of Chelsea fans see Willian's spot as a very replaceable, in fact, upgradable spot in the starting 11. Of course, Ziyech is coming in, but he can play in the number 10. People are looking at that Willian starting spot and thinking, Jaden Sancho? Because a lot of us still have a lot of belief in Christian Pulisic as well. Hudson Adoy to come in and rotate. You dig? So I'm sure Lampard, who's very media savvy and wants a tight ship, is pretty disappointed in those comments. Personally, I don't think there's any value in having a 34-year-old Willian on good money running around on the pitch. I just don't, no matter how in shape he is, Chelsea are this young dynamic team now. Willian's never been like a massive goal threat. He's definitely not gonna start banging in loads in the twilight of his career. For me, I would just let him go. And I'm, I'm not a Willian hater. I see loads of value in his player profile, but you know, yeah, again, let him go. Bye, Willian. Like floating into the air to like, I don't know, Juventus. <laughs> right, right, right. Let's talk about Lone FC being under threat. So new rules and regulations are going to be imposed on European clubs, probably around world football, about loan limitations. Now, apparently, I heard this a long time ago. It was going to be limited to six players. Now, Chelsea have got around 40 players on loan. <laughs> so you already see a problem there. But actually, it's not that deep. It's six players abroad and max three players to one club so the whole three players to one club thing i'm not sure is an issue i know chelsea likes sending players to uh vitesse on him but i don't think they'd ever send more than three players i'm just presuming this is at once so i'm not sure that rule has any like issue there's no issues from that rule but six players abroad, obviously, that will frustrate Chelsea. There's loads of value sending players abroad and getting whether those players are foreign themselves, so they're going to their home countries or somewhere where they speak the language, there's value in that. But if, if this rule, how I read it, is how it is, then Chelsea can still utilise the Championship and League One loads, which they do. Basically, they send academy kids to the Championship to great effect. You know, Tammy Abraham twice scored loads of goals, Reese James, Mason Mount, Conor Gallagher, Mark Gurhey, the list goes on. Really, really talented players can be sent down to the Championship, which is a competitive level, you know. It's probably similar to like the Portuguese League or something, or maybe the Dutch League, you know, the Eredivisie. I'm, I'd like to see how the Eredivisie ranks with the Championship. Do you know what I mean? It's very physical, it's similar to the Premier League. So it's almost like, just loan 20 players out in the Championship, eight into league one do you know what i mean they still loan players out into league two and stuff as well and you just make a really sort of tight selection of these six players to go play in europe um it, it's difficult because they'd probably just do it to 
I'd probably stop the develop, developmental loans into Europe and just do like, you know, the Elvira Morata situation loan and then so the stuff that tens of millions of pounds are involved with. It would have to be a really special situation to have a developmental loan away in Europe where a player would just do really, really well. You know, Ethan Ampadu would have had to have been assured to play at Leipzig all season, then you go, right, he can be one of the six. You get me? Anyway, if that is indeed the case, it's not the end of the world. Chelsea seem to find a way with stuff. But I want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on everything I've spoken about in this video. Tammy Abraham, can he be the starting striker next season? What do you think about Kepper out? What do you think about Willian out? What do you think about Lone FC out? <laughs> Get down in the comment section below, express your thoughts and opinions on everything I've spoken about in today's video. And if you've enjoyed the content, please do like the video, that means a lot. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you are indeed new to football therapy. And you can follow me on social media, at Football Yannick, on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it for me guys, you lot enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.